currently guide using this find scope from Altair Astro and their um, GP Cam 2 um, guide, guide camera because it's connected via quite a large beefy um, adapter which should mean it's pretty rigid when connected to the telescope tube itself but what I've found is that the telescope and the guide camera do actually um, flex a little and that means that occasionally when the telescope's in some positions I get quite poor guiding or at least the guiding looks perfect but when you look at the actual images uh, the images have trailed stars so I'm planning to fit an off-axis guider in the hope that it will solve those problems. Got these bits from First Light Optics. Here's an off-axis guider that came with these extension tubes, which I probably don't need. And I bought this Beta um, helical focuser, which will go on there. And I also bought this Beta. Um, filter slider so that I can add a filter into the train, into the imaging train. That sort of clips on there. I'm going to these bits you buy the the face that you want and the rear that you want, and then you buy the main body and the um, the little sliding tray. Um, I can't show you that with one hand at the moment. Um, Yeah, this tray, you, you buy all these bits separately um, to suit your telescope. Um, so I'm going to fit those. Connected all the bits together. This is the Beta filter slider. This is the off axis guider, and this is the Beta um, focuser. Um, the main camera will fit here. Actually, I'm going to have the uh, filter wheel here and then the camera, but. Um, so it's the same difference. Um, this is the nose piece that goes onto the focuser, and then the guide camera goes in here. The off access guider has a number of um, knobs on it, so this knob here allows you to change the um, whereabouts, the distance that that is. You obviously need to have that so that it's far enough away so that it's not encroaching on the chip. Um, but you get that there, and then these three knobs give you, you loosen them, can't do it one hand, if you loosen them and it gives you a little bit of rotation of the off axis guider like that, um, which allows you to sort of, I guess, find a star. Um, so now I'll uh, show what it looks like when it's on the telescope. Current image train, I've got a um, ZWO 1600 Mono Pro camera, the Attic electronic filter wheel version 3, and then a moonlight focuser. And you can see that I've got a gap here where I haven't actually pushed this all the way in. That will disappear once I add what needs to be added here the, um, the filter slider and the um, uh, the off-axis guider will fit in this space here. So I'm going to measure from here to here to see how much space I've got and then I'll measure the off-axis guider to make sure that it's narrower than this distance here because this is currently in focus and as long as it's narrower than that then I know I've got a little bit of in and a little bit of out to play with on the focuser for it all to fit and work together. If I don't have enough space then I believe I can remove this spacer here and butt this straight against the filter wheel so I might well try that as well, we'll see. Um, so that's the plan. The gap there when the telescope is in focus is almost 46 millimeters, and the gap here is 45 millimeters, so I've got a millimeter to play with uh, which is fine. Measuring from the edge of the focuser to the edge of the camera, I can see that it's 79 millimetres. 
so that I know that in focus that distance has to be 79 millimeters so I can then roughly adjust it back in focus afterwards and make sure I can achieve 79 millimeters and still have room on the focuser to go in and out um, to focus and that will that'll just make sure that um, when I use this first at night I'm roughly in focus just added that measurement to my observatory notebook so I don't forget it in future so I've got it all fitted now I've got the camera the filter wheel the filter slider and the mm -hmm. off axis guider and the camera for the off axis guider what I now need to do is measure from the centre of here to the camera sensor there and then the centre of here to the sensor here to make sure that those distances are the same and then I'll know that this is in focus at the same time that this is in focus so let me just start doing that the distance from the middle of the off axis guider to roughly where the sensor is on the main camera is about 70 millimeters so I need to now measure from here up 70 millimeters and that's where the sensor's got to go which is going to be about here so I'll see if I can do that I think I've got everything roughly aligned um, from the center here to the sensor is about 70 millimeters and from the center here to this sensor is about 70 millimeters it won't be perfect uh, but I'll need to do a star test at night when it's clear to um, get it properly lined up but it's roughly right what I'm now going to do is turn the camera on and just make sure that the main camera um, you can't see the off-axis guider it's not getting in the way which it might be and it might need to adjust that and then um, that's probably all I can do until it's dark I've done everything I can during the day um, the image below astrophotography tool is showing the uh, the main camera it doesn't look like the um, sensor is encroaching and in fact if I push it all the way in it doesn't seem to encroach either which I was quite surprised about um, so that seems fine one above is the guide camera um, that's using sharp cap at the moment just so I can see it um, you can see there's a little bit of vignetting on the corners but it, it pretty much covers it nicely so now I just need to do the fine adjustments to make sure that both cameras when the main camera is focused the, um, the guide camera is focused and um, that I can't do till it's dark it's dark now and both cameras are in focus this is the image from the guide camera showing the stars coming from the off-axis guider if I now switch over to astrophotography tool in a few seconds my first image of five minutes of guiding um, should appear and we can look at the stars and I'm quite pleased with the, result, with the results the stars are very circular and everything looks exactly as it should be I just wish it was a better night and I could actually do some imaging but there's lots of clouds around and it's um, a gibbous moon so I don't think I'll be doing any imaging tonight but at least I've finished these tests and I know that it all works and here are the results this is a test image of the southwest part of the Delta Cygni nebula there are two five minute exposures guided using the off axis guider in hydrogen alpha O3 and S2 and the stars appear to be completely circular so I'm very pleased with the result I hope you've enjoyed watching this video um, and if you have please click the like button if you want to comment please leave a comment so I read them all and if you love this video please click subscribe to watch more thanks for watching